Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. So now that uh, mm. we've saved the game and Teya's uh, card shop, now time to uh, go to the tournament. So take it Yay. away. So take it away, um, weird haired guy. Preliminary match number one. Yugi versus Rex Raptor. Oh goody, goody. Rex. <laughs> More dino pounds. It's been a while, Yugi. Oh god. <laughs> What's wrong with your eyes? Guess you're gonna be watching me in the finals. <laughs> That's just the thing, um, this game kinda took its own spin on the art style. Okay. Alright. Time to, time to send um, the, the Pharaoh back to his time by playing a, a children's card game tournament. <laughs> now Pedro, I have a quick question. Yes, Darkstar? When you beat the game, do you go? Do you loop back to the very beginning with all your cards from before? Yes, I, yes. Sa I said that last part. Yes, that's how I wasn't I'm... here in the last. I wasn't here in the last part. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah but um, yeah, the thing is, it, it, that's that's prob That's the only way I was able to record this in without hassle because, like I said, this game is 90% grinding and 10% actually playing it. I guess that's why that's they gave why you the I, opportunity. I guess I hold on, Doc. Let me finish. I guess that's why they gave you the opportunity to loop back around. Yeah. With sort of a new game plus. Sort also, of this music, uh, Jesus. This is why I never finished the game. I, I, there was so much grinding that I got fed up. I don't blame you, but but I'm a, but I'm a persistent motherfucker, so I actually spent quite a lot of hours playing this game. From what I can understand, once you do, once you do have a more powerful enough deck, though, it's fun. But yeah, it's definitely one of those grind-heavy games. You, you beat me. This Good. Is this With is the power of grinding. I don't believe this. <laughs> no way. I can't believe this. Yes. Looking good, Yogi. Looking good. Uh... And the music is awfully foreboding. Surprisingly, no, this is supposed to be the friendly music, believe it or not. <laughs> okay, it's, it's weird because Yu-Gi-Oh! games normally have okay music at worst. Uh, I mean, whatever. it's just that one track felt like something that oh, you Oh goody, like... now we get Weevil too. <laughs> it's only fair to tell you, you ain't got the ghost of a chance. <laughs> uh, wrong character. My the army of it, forehead. my army of insects will make mincemeat out of you. Wrong Do we get more, we get more sexual symbolism? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, speaking of grinding, this is why I eventually got fed up with Castlevania Harmony of Despair. Alright. Anyway. Two uh, oh yeah, that's another thing too. There's no card limits, which means you can have free Dark Holes, free Raigekis. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. But you can only have one of each Exodia piece. Yeah. Well, that's a well, of course. That's always been the case, no matter Why what. Why Weevil has mystical sand? He does. The, the, and yet we're the one with ultimate no, 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 that's the thing, Teo. The thing is, this game actually came up with its own unique fusions that are not part of the real card game. Uh, except the game doesn't tell you those extra fusions. You just, no, have, no, no, you just no, have to experiment it, with various it's cards. That, it's, it's, we're not even in theme. Weevil is all about the insect uh, and bug cards. Uh, but well, he, he, does have, he, 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 he does have a couple of bug cards. Hold on, let me see. I think I, think I destroyed one of. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna use Ragaki. I, I so. think what you're right. saying is like, well, the problem is like, was that Weevil's entire deck is based around bug types. Like, you know. I mean, if you want to create new cards on the go, just make sure they're in theme with the deck owner. Yeah. It's I like if Kaiba's main card all of a sudden was not Obelisk or Blue as the White Dragon. Wow, what a thrilling game, eh? <laughs> okay. But yes, if I ever get this game again, I am getting a Game Shark for it. Uh, I lost! I lost! My army of insects <laughs> defeated by the likes of you, even though I didn't actually use any insects! <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I will have to get a Game Shark for this next time I get it, yeah. if I ever play you it You said again. that already, Darkstar. I hear you, Darkstar. Well. So I didn't know. What do you want to do? Oh, uh, Darkstar, you may know a bit more about this game, so I, I asked Pedro this question about the previous part, but he didn't know. Do you know if the Konami Code does something for this game? Darkstar? Alright, Also, Jova, you're my up. Valentine, Joey. You should have quit before you faced me. Uh, okay. You're going to regret it. Sure, boobs. I mean, my... I mean... <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi, Erica Schroeder, a.k.a. Viola. Well, for the second half of the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, anyway. I was trying to make a double a double voice actress joke. Anyway, moving on. Alright, so we placed it with the sun thingy. <laughs> who, who cares? Yeah, with this kind of with this set of rules, my harpy deck is pretty much not is pretty much rendered moot at this point because an RP deck is all about summoning a lot of powerful cards on the field at the same time. By the way, um, what's the point of having face down attack cards in this game? I mean, it goes like we said the, uh, the last part. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Um, in regards to this, though, I mean, it goes, is it about the AI being stupid enough to try yep. and attack a face down attack? Yep. And like, or will the AI not attack you if you know, like, also your fingers face up and your attack is clearly greater? Sometimes it won't attack, but most of the times it will. Yes. You know, Jervy, you only have to say, "Let me finish once." You have to I often have to repeat it, though, since you and Paige <laughs> tend to forget that stuff. Sadly. Whatever. Well, we have won. Or rather, Pedro won. We just watched from the guy at the blinds believing in the heart of it. Yes. Semantics, so dark star. Don't you see dark? Don't you see dark star believing is well enough. Not just that. Yeah, yeah, they, they say that line in the movie too. Not just that. Remember, dark star. Yu-Gi-Oh logic. I, the heart of the cards only works if I have friends. So I need you guys I all here, us. so we can use oh, the power well, of friendship to beat the I game. I simply wish you luck. Well, okay, that's one good thing about my Valentine. She's not nearly as sore a loser as your typical player. You play a tough game, Yugi. I'm just here to look pretty. What do you want me to do? I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't her four kids actress also play Tails and Sonic? At least yes. she uses Yugi versus Bandit Kid. Actually, 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 no, they're, they're different. Actually, no, they're different. Long people. time no see. Long I time no see. <laughs> Get ready for a fresh scene. Okay. So this is an alternate continuity, so I don't, uh, so I don't know what he's talking about. About long time no see. Have they met before? I don't even. Also, um, dark, hold, dark on, hold on, hold on, hold well, on. Anyway. This happened after the um, I don't know. Pegasus Tournament League. I don't know. Yeah, maybe this that... did. If so, then that would make sense. That's just the thing. This game is so vague uh, in terms of... Uh, uh, my I'm, guessing that, I'm guessing that this takes place after the Duelist Kingdom, Mark. But, but remember, Jova, this is the first time that the Pharaoh is uh, in the present, so I guess... Oh, that's easy to explain. Well, for all, for all we know, it was just a, what I'm called, bad dream that Yugi was having. Yeah, 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 bad dream. No, yeah. well, I can uh, immediately Especially debunk that. It's not. Even... It's not. Especially how, how because, you know? even... because I've completed the game, Jova. Know. At the end of this yeah. part, we will... At the end of this part, Yugi will be sending the Pharaoh back to his time so he can defeat Haishin. I've told you this. Well, yeah, I get that. Well, yeah, I get that. But what's to say that that wasn't a dream and, like, oh, well, it's just saying that. For example, you know, Kaiba seems to awakened yet. know well enough, Yugi. Yeah, also, so there's no. Beat the first episode happened, I guess. Yeah, mm. that too. Not to mention that, like, well, just because. I mean, probably no. That, could've, that speech could have just been a metaphor about the Pharaoh supposedly awakening. In fact, uh, didn't Dark Yugi not even know his past yet? So for all we know, him awakening would just be him actually remembering that stuff. Well, don't worry, we're gonna have a cutscene explaining that uh, when Shadi shows up. Alright, so... Now remember, we'll this happens. was finished before the manga was finished, so of course it's gonna be a different timeline. Oh, the an the manga! That might explain stuff. Aye, 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 aye. Who do you think you are? Aye, aye, aye. The card uh, so professor. Here's a the card thing. professor? Since when is Bennett Keefe a card <laughs> professor? So here's the twist. Bennett Keefe is not American nor Canadian. He's actually Mexican. It <laughs> don't make sense now. I heard you made the finals. That's great. Keep it up. Nice. Now, what do you want to do? Nothing. <laughs> Let's leave the shop. Wait, Taya has a shop? Remember, she's working here part-time. It's just so the game has- Hiya, an... Yogi! It's yeah, just... you're winning! It's just so the game has an excuse to give us a, sa a way to save the game. <laughs> Me? Well, I ain't been eliminated yet. Surprisingly. That's Maybe this time game. I will face you in the finals. Maybe. I hope so, but... <gasps> <gasps> eh? What's wrong, Yogi? Alright, Webs, you're up. Over there. It's Shady. Shady. Summoning Shady. 
We meet again, Yugi. Oh god. Yeah, he, he actually he, he actually looks a lot more like season zero shoddy rather than yeah. the actual Yeah. What are you doing here? You looking for someone? I was summoned by Yugi's Millennium item. Where are you? The Millennium Puzzle? No, no the, the Millennium, millennium What do you think? Yeah. That is correct. My own Millennium item is reacting as if it wants to be here. Here and now. I believe that every last Millennium item is gathered here at the tournament. So we're gonna meet Bakura too. Yeah. My mission is to discover the secret of these items. Uh, that's not what it was in the manga or the anime, but whatever. That is what brought me here. Shadi. As I said, Pedro, the manga wasn't done yet. I had a weird dream about the Millennium Puzzle. There was another guy like me in the dream, locked in the puzzle, in another world. Ta -da -da, ta -da -da, ta -da -da. In a world. <laughs> It was a really strange dream. Like it was like we just. I think, see. It's like a, that it's, might have something to do with your with Yabi Yugi, your <laughs> doppelganger. Aha! So it is established that he knows him, which means that I guess this was just a memory of his. Whatever. I don't even care at this point. <laughs> yeah, at this point, Robert has a toy. My my doppelganger. Yeah, the inner you. Yugi, have you ever thought about meeting your dark twin? Well, uh, it's not exactly something you can do on the fly, you know. Not, not, not well, just, not just that. that. Not just, okay, okay, okay. Now I'm confused. I mean, the dark twin thing is from season zero. Are you do following the Duelist Kingdom series Wait, or the season zero series? Make up your mind. Open your mind, Yugi. By delving deep into your mind, you can probably meet the other you that lies within. I'm um, guessing he's referring to how at the end of the season one Duelist Kingdom Mark, he did technically meet his inner dark Yami Yuki self. Whatever. The dream you had. Maybe he is trying to tell you something. I think this might be the time to meet him and talk. Oh, Look goody. at me! I'm making sense of this! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I'll go see him if you're willing to help me. You help me and I'll help you. Okay, here. Touch my millennium. Uh, uh, not that one. That okay. one. Close your eyes. Look up to the sky and see. Relax. You. Open your mind. Open your heart. Shut it's up. gonna be alright. Shut up. This is my mind. It's a clusterfuck. It's up. <laughs> oh, dude, your mind is. Hey, oh, Pharaoh. Hello there. Hey, Pharaoh. And you are me, even though you're actually not me, you're actually the Pharaoh from ancient Egypt. This is the first time I've Whatever, met you. Whatever, you look the same. It's so, actually, well, technically the hair is different, even though it's the same style, but whatever. I can see your mind. Don't need words. I can understand you somehow, because French. Convenient. Just by facing you. Also, this music. <laughs> you want to return back to your own world. Well, I want you to stop the drugs. It's affecting I, your mind. I want to help. Here. What do I have to do? Uh, a children's card? No, <laughs> no, no. Actually, Is that the ancient view? Yeah, I was about to say. The face. It's blank. The Just unknown. Like Wait, what is this card? So basically, Ask me what it means. And I'll tell you what it means. It means you have to keep playing more children's card games until the plot decides to to move forward. Yuki, you all right? Uh, yeah. With that music, I'm not sure. Did it work? Did you meet him? Oh, <laughs> we met him, all right. I met him, but. We only spoke briefly. I mean, I, I I was the one doing all the speaking. He just stood there. He told me he was a prince trapped in the puzzle. A long time ago. Well, boys, we saw that. I... He said he had to get back to his own world. He asked me to help him get back. Look at my eyes. But I don't know how. I am unimpressed. Hey, what's that you've got in your hand? I don't know, let's wait till the... So the... Yugi, do, so oh. Yugi, do you have a card in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? There we are. This card. You gave me this... Did you mean these cards, Yugi? <laughs> this card in my mind's world. 
<laughs> no, okay, okay, guys, take a wild guess. What are these cards for? The Millennium Items. Ah, oh, come on, Darkstar, they were supposed to guess. To take yeah, jeez, Darkstar, no need to spoil it. Anyway, uh, yes, basically, guys, what happens is every time Yugi wins against someone who has a Millennium Item, that Millennium Item is sucked into one of those white cards. Why? Mad. Because magic. So, I don't know. How, do, how does he get his own? He doesn't. Uh, apparently, having car, having children's cards of uh, the Millennium Items also equals having the power of the Millennium Items. Because... No, no, I mean, how does he get a card that has his own item, the part of the puzzle? No, 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 the Millennium... I, I, honestly, no, the game doesn't explain that. He just does. Whatever, never mind. You'll see. Matt's so bored. Actually, that's too. Sorry, Yugi yeah. versus too shoddy. Yugi, we were drawn to battle by our Millennium items. You were? We were destined to duel. Of course. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Anyway, Dark Star. Yes? No spoiling from now on. Okay. Then again, I what? never. I didn't. Well, he's very right. well, left to be so well, if you knew Dark Star. Well, if you knew Dark Star knew the answer, then why did you ask him? Pedro didn't ask Dark Star, he was actually asking us. So that one was. Whatever, not Pedro. No, whatever, never no, uh, no big deal anyway. Um. Moving on. Oh no! How, oh, that's right, I win. Because yeah. you have the blue eyes ultimate dragon. Because and also luck Wait, the dark luster uh, soldier. Yes, 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 black luster soldier. Yes. I figured I would uh, put it in the deck because I knew Jova would like it. Ah, that that one's always been one of my aces in the hole that's helped me beat people to this day. I yeah. win uh, again because I am a master of the ritual summon. Your winner. <laughs> A winner is you. <laughs> Boy, we're gonna have to comment in on both those games at some point. What game? It seems I've lost. Ooh, there's a Konami logo in the background. Yeah. Yeah. The tournament is actually financed by that. What the? My Millennium Key and Millennium Skills! Yeah, sorry, you actually asked two Millennium items. So, Ishigo is not in this game, I guess. They've been drawn into the car. <laughs> Uh, actually, see, I think this game was made before Shizu existed. So this is why the Millennium items are drawn to each other this day. True. To become children's trading cards? Yay. Yes. Yugi, it seems your friend has summoned the items together to absorb them into these cards. Because apparently he can do that. <laughs> Who are you to judge? Because video game exclusive timeline logic. I hear you're doing great. Keep it up. After that. What do you want to do? <laughs> okay. Match number two with finals, Yugi versus Bakura. Okay, dude, right. I need you to put on your British accent. Put on your British accent. It's odd. I had no intention of joining in this tournament. Oh, boy. All right, let's up your best Ted Lewis impression. But my Millennium Ring, it called me to battle. Again, Dwins, give it your best with your British yeah, accent. Yeah, and now the evil, well, but, and now the evil one. Oh Good God. to see you, it, it looks terrible. <laughs> it's high time we proved who the real game master is. That, that, that's, just, that's just the thing, Tail. The art style is trying to go is trying to go for the season zero look, <laughs> which I, I really like the season zero look. Don't get me wrong. It's just that the problem is that this game. That's doesn't try. It's clearly trying to follow in the whole Egyptian pharaoh thing from the the um, the duelist, uh, the, the sorry the um, dual monster series. So it's kind of weird that like, it's like they couldn't decide whether they want to make a season zero game or a season one game. So they just made just created a mashup of the two. I don't know. Oh, you mean like the season zero movie? Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. So maybe that's what this is in continuity with then the season zero movie. There's your answer. So does that mean we're going to meet fucking Gary here? Jesus Christ. Hopefully not. I hate that Gary Stu. Ugh. Who? Uh, Gary Stu. The, the he the, doesn't even remember. The main kid of um, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero movie, aka the, the kid who doesn't like playing card games, so he's an outcast. Because... All because, oh no, I have the black red eyes... The, because I have the red eyes black dragon. Oh man, so a kid that doesn't like playing card okay. games. His parents must be ashamed. 
Uh, Game over. Indeed. Oh shoot, a handful of magic spell cards. That would be that would suck on your first turn. Not gonna lie. Yeah, here's an interesting thing. Even if you use uh, a soul the pure, you can only have um, a total maximum eight thousand. So don't use any of those cards unless you're actually uh, messing on life points. Wait, hold on. So what you're saying is that the amount of monsters you have on the field is limited by. Uh... No, 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 Joe. But what I'm saying is. Life point giving card magic cards o only give you those life points if you don't have um, <coughs> I, uh, if you have less than eight thousand. Guess I won't be How claiming odd. the game master title. How odd. Oh, he's actually surprisingly sporting for being evil, Bakura. What's in that? Mine, bitch. My Millennium Ring is being sucked into a car. Or Bakura's card at that, or is the it a teenager's card? It yeah, oh, uh... used me. Thanks, Yugi. I'm now free of the Millennium Ring. Uh, Mr. Ka I'll, give it, a, I'll, I'll uh, give it a few weeks. You'll be back under its control sooner or later. Uh, uh, Mr. Kaiba, should we do something about the fact that there's a contestant in the tournament stealing people's valuables? No. But I guess but, if, but, but I guess but, but Mr. Kaiba, what if it tries to make... steal your valuables? I have absolutely no concern. Quarter finals match, Yugi versus Peg. Wait, Pegasus is here? Yes, well, Pegasus is here for yeah, some reason. Yeah, I can't anyway, I guess. So. Well, well, Yugi boy, you've come a long way, but now it's time to lose. It's time to lose. Wow, Kaiba's losing everyone joined this tournament now, ain't he? But let's just see, Jova, they were drawn to battle by the Millennium Items. Or some shit like that. But yes, I figured since the, the ring was since Bakura's a teen, does that mean make it a teenager's card game? No. That, that, that's that, remembered. Um, the, 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 remembered. Um, God, uh, Dark Star. This is the logic that's common to Yu-Gi-Oh, Final Fantasy VIII, and Final Fantasy IX. There's this weird card game that everybody in the world plays. And even during situations of extreme urgency, they will still be totally glad to duel uh, with you. Oh, again, no, no, the again. world is falling apart! Wanna play a card game? Sure, I got a minute. Again, again, honest. again, again, again. This all works a lot better in Yu-Gi-Oh! GF. To mm -hmm. be honest, I never played Final Fantasy 8 or 9, so I have no idea what you're doing. Play not the logic. What? what? Play 9. You're the same, Darkstar, don't worry. Wait, 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 wait. What does Final Fantasy Eight or Nine have to do with semi echo? Maybe Final Fantasy Eight. Card, card, card game logic, uh, Jova. Oh, you triple, mean the triple triple, tri triple tried in eight and will um, Tetra Master. Tetra Master in nine. I prefer Tetra Master. Sorry, Fed. Me as well. Me as well. But I, I, but honestly, I don't like. Uh, I don't like either of them, honestly. I don't understand this kind of... I think Spoonie really nailed it uh, when he did his review of 8 that time. I don't understand why some JRPGs have this thing of trying to shim in this, these unrelated mini-games that enforce them under our throats instead of making them optional, honestly. Weird, I think that was one of the reasons he said that he didn't like 9, either. No, 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 9... Well, listen, uh, he doesn't dislike well, he 9. Didn't like, apparently he didn't really like 9. No, he, he, he didn't style. like 9 because he defined Zidane as an androgynous pre-team. He, 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 li he doesn't like androgynous... Uh, you know, it, it, the, the, the whole anime androgynous thing, it creeps him out. It, he doesn't like it, that kind of thing. It's not for him. I like anyway. it. Which I can understand. It's, not, it's definitely something that's not for everybody. I think it's really yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, I'll just stick with Zidane being male. And then... Let's not forget Megumi Yogata is known for playing handsome women and beautiful men. Whatever, I don't care for it. I God, I... Final match, Yugi versus Isis. Not Ishi not, Ish Isis? not Ishizu, Isis. Evil Ishizu. <laughs> It's uh, my pleasure to face you in battle, Yugi. This is so awkward. Isis, Isis, Isis. When did Isis show up in a Yugi? I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm but pretty sure that. will walk away victorious. Me. <laughs> okay, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure the developers pulled this character out of their ass. I'm gonna look it up. Or I, I think so, she may have been just it's a so team. awkward in hindsight. Jesus. So yeah, guys, we're gonna fight Isis. Whoever she is. Without without a wall. Yay. Oh, never mind. Prince Priestess Isis is a... Actually, no. No, she was in the anime. In which huh, anime specifically? Priestess... In which anime specifically? Uh, the, uh, two, um, the original one. Basically, she first appeared in episode 201. 201? So, okay. 
Memoirs of a Pharaoh. I don't... Was she one of the random Egyptian people in uh, in, in, in one of those ancient Egypt uh, flashbacks? Nope, she was actually a... well, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. She appeared from the flashbacks, but I guess came to the present at some point. Let's see. Well, that's... why not just use Ishizu, though? Um, I'm forgetting that this character appeared before Ishizu or after. But yeah, apparently, yeah, this Isis character was actually a thing. I mean, I can, I can, so, uh, I, I mean, I can guarantee, because I've seen season zero and um, the entirety of the duel of the original duel, uh, Yugi series, you know, with the with actual Yugi, you know, before GX. Uh, he, <laughs> I, Isis never showed up in any of those series. Well, she showed up in the original one. Wiki has it right here and everything. I, I, is she is she a character from the how, manga or something? How could I lose? Whatever. So, War Peace, uh, right. Raw Children's right. Card Game. And now I'll All take right. your Millennium Anime into my card. Okay. What? My Millennium Necklace! It's being drawn into a card! Oh, that one! Oh, okay, now it... But, but she's supposed to be... A, but she died in ancient Egypt. Why is she here? Convenience. Whatever, moving on. Let's see. So I guess it's Kagen Skyba. Well, this is it. I love the theme Our song. Or finally, it's the amazing Kaiba trademark. <laughs> and the undefeated Yugi. Wow, he doesn't even call Kaiba undefeated. I thought I might be facing you. With that jacket. Uh, G, G, Yugi versus Kaiba. This rarely happens in this franchise. I know, I'm right? Rod. Wait, 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 wait. Kaiba has the Millennium Rod? Well, remember, Jova, well, remember, Jova, before Merrick got it in, in Battle City season, uh, Kaiba was the original owner, uh, Seto, actually. Seto was the original owner of the Millennium Rod, remember? Well, I get that, but Kaiba? Kaiba never had the yeah, Millennium yeah. Rod. Again, again, they're taking artistic let's not, liberty. Let's not, let's not dig too deep into it. Yeah. Too deep for me. Sure, yeah. This, okay. Uh, it's clear that this anime rod, was made. I love how the rod whispers to Kaiba, though, according to Sato. It's like, the rod whispers to me that he wants you to take it away. It's abundantly <laughs> clear that this game was made back in the early days when... Um... Definitely in the early times of the anime, before they really knew quite a bit of stuff. Yeah. Because the a lot of this stuff is just plain wrong. <laughs> Let's see. Alright. Uh... Time to defeat Kaiba. And he has a labyrinth wall. <laughs> okay. Okay. There we are. Whatever, you're, mo you're uh, almost there. I anyway. think it's kind of reluctant to call that the perfectly ultimate Great Moth. Alright. Uh, Ryaki. Have I missed anything? <clears throat> oh, well, we established that Isis actually is a character in the anime, and that Kaiba has the Millennium Rod. Isis? Uh, yes, yes. Yes, we already made enough jokes, Dweebs. She, she's, yes, she's a she's yes, a character Dweeb. from the uh, the, yes. uh, the final season of the original anime. Yes, Dweebs, we have officially defeated Isis with the children's card game. <laughs> and there we are. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, and now we've already defeated Set. What other Egyptian gods shall we defeat? This cannot be me defeated. That Kaiba bloke needs to get shagged big time. <laughs> Don't you mean late? Since usually it's. I know, but I, I know, but I know, but I know, but I prefer the British version of what that expression. Light, so bright. No, bright don't flash me. Satan watching you tonight. My millennium item, drawn into, into a card. Wait, I don't even <laughs> think it was mine to begin with. I now have all the cards with the millennium items. Aside from the puzzle itself, but moving on. You have the power. Uh, and there you go. Now the pharaoh goes back to his world. Yugi, or Yami, because I originally named him Yugi for some reason. Is this what you wanted? Uh, I don't know. And there you go, everybody. We're back in ancient... E well, not yet, but... Hey, Simon. <laughs> Yugi, you don't it. Well, actually, yes. well, well, actually, the kid did all the work, but whatever. Now you can go back to your own world. Why would I want to go back there? Because we have to save Egypt and our you friends from Martian Jova. 
So what she's saying is that Yami Yugi went back to his Yugi. world so that he could Very save the day. So bold. I believe the boy represents what you are to be. <laughs> Deep, <laughs> shit. Deep shit. Deep shit, yo. <laughs> now, with the millennium items pulling at each other over time, my mind. So... <laughs> Stay true to the okay. eight disciplines which are only just beginning to the know. The portal to the world can be opened. Uh, is this a time portal? A mental portal? I got Time portal. Point. Time portal. Of course. So that means that the Pharaoh was a time traveler. All. I see now a six <laughs> of the millennium items and rules over an expensive realm. Yugi, Yugi, stop it. That looks kind of like the TARDIS. An evil <laughs> <laughs> TARDIS of <laughs> Using his items, he managed to unleash a portion of the powers of darkness. Well, so there, we you know what they say. Tiny, so there you go. Dang it, I was about to say that. So there you go, Dwayne. This is this... the in temples, looking each conquered area to protect it. Oh, great, padding. So there you go, Dwebs. This is uh, the secret, long-lost uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Doctor Who crossover. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, just all like you always do. And oh, seal them away once oh. and for all. This means that we get to see oh. the Doctor b saving the day by playing card games. The location of the temple containing the Millennium items can be found in the room. Well, he won't well, save the day by playing chess, so... Yeah. Yeah. My time has come. I am the true villain. What, your time is up. My I time is. I've done all that I can do. I guess. My flesh is no more. This will be my last words to you, Yugi. Fuck I guess I'm off. Not... The rest is up to you, to you, to you. To... I... May success be yours. Peel. Oh, I get it now. So basically, <laughs> so basically, Yami Yugi was able. To make it back to the past to save a day, and then when he died, his spirit was sealed into the puzzle, and thus that is how he ended up back in the in the puzzle to be with Yuki. It all makes sense now, which means that there are two Does young Yukis, one who is back with the uh, actual Yuki that we know in this one that went back in time to fix that. Time, time travel is bullshit. <laughs> yeah, wobbly wobbly timey wimey. All right, so now we can visit. Uh, okay, first of all, let's go back to the oh, metropolis. Oh, metropolis! Oh, so this is what metropolis was like before it became a brawling city with Superman to save the day. So the card shop has been destroyed. Are oh. there any cards left? Let's loot the store. Yes. There's nobody around. Loot then. No. No, no, no. We're the good guys, Jova. We don't steal. Uh, uh, well, unless no you're one's ever sell them. <laughs> Nobody's here. It looks abandoned. Hey, Yuki! Suddenly, Jono. Wow, you're alive. Yeah, funny story. I never dreamed I'd see you again, Yuki. I still can't believe it. I know, right? You know, I was really surprised when I first learned you were actually a prince. So yeah, basically he never told his friends that he was a prince. Like, I guess it's the usual shit of I want to live among the common well, people. Well, that and also it's probably against any royalty rules to actually associate so with the So in reality, the pharaoh is actually a Disney princess. So no yes. <laughs> but she wants more than this. There's a mine he, he wants to play. He, he, he wants to play. He, he, he doesn't want to be a prince. He wants to be a card game champion. Why was <laughs> I quoting the thief and the cowboy of all things? Yeah, all right. So this is the new dueling grounds. Yay! So we can basically. So, guess, so this is our grinding I spot. He, I guess even after plummeting fun, fun the world in darkness, we still have a sense of fair play. You you will be spending most of the playthrough in this area, just. Fighting the same du uh, duelists over and over and over and over and over. <sighs> Pedro, are Something you okay? Something tells me Pedro doesn't like this. Mm. Are you okay, Pedro? I'm Can't fine. It's, it's just know that the grinding I've is got, all over. I, I, I've gotten over it. I've gotten over it. Thank God I, I kept. I don't know. You God. seem to be showing some battle scars. Yeah, no, no, no. It's just that talking about it brought up uh, bad memories. PTSD. Yeah. Hey, at least it's not as bad as when I wasted the whole summer trying to get what amounted to a So oh, yeah, let me get this straight. Uh, Aishin and Kaiba took over the kingdom, plummeting into darkness, but still play children's cards. Well, well, actually, Haishin is the one ruling. <laughs> uh, Seto is his right-hand man of sorts. 
Oh. oh. Nobody can stand up to them. The way things are going, we'll have to live down here for the rest of our lives just playing cards. <laughs> <laughs> Yuki. You like well, the one? Well, too, maybe it's it's similar to how... You keep smoking around, just wearing about things. Yeah, 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 what Jono said. It's 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 the same logic that Final Fantasy X used with the Blitz Ball, where uh, it's such a, a, a depressing world with no joy in it that uh, they, they use this as an escapism to at least, you know, keep themselves sane. Which guess, yeah. isn't too different from what we do in the modern world, so by all means... But I'm not going to play uh, the Zulum because I've already dueled them in the first part. So, moving All on. Alright, then. <laughs> God. Alright, so, turns out the card shop owner is still around. So, basically, th this is how it works now. Every time I come into the hiding card shop, uh, what happens is I have, to, I have to choose whether I want to go to the actual card shop or the dueling grounds. So, let's go to the card shop so we can save our game. Which I will do off screen. So, All we'll right, see you we'll then. See you for the next part. See ya. See ya.